we're in a fish house. Yeah, it's not the fish that you eat either. It's a different kind of place. It's kind of weird. Let's go look. What are you supposed to do here? You put your feet in the water and the fish eat all the bacteria. But unlike America, where it has like one or two kind of, I think one kind of fish. Here, there's so many different kinds. Oh, how weird. Hey, these fish are having a good time. Yeah, what does it feel like? Well, it kind of feels like a little pricking needle. And uh, just imagine their little mouth just biting on my feet. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Wow. Let's back to the big fish. Uh, wow, that's pretty big. Yeah, Rook, and they bite pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, small fish feel like little needles, and it tickles. These fish feel like, like raking. It's kind of interesting. They have big mouths, and they definitely bite hard. Relaxing once you get used to it. That was fish number one and six. Now let's see what fish number five has to offer. He's there. Yeah, he's over here. Fish number five. They bite fast. And not as painful as the last one, but it's faster pace. It's really interesting. All right, what's next? Number two. Number two are these little fish. Oh, they're like number, they're like, yeah, number one fish. Small mouth and fast spiders, but not so prickly. Almost feels like a small massage. And there's a ton of them. Wow, there's a lot. They look so happy. Okay, now we are at these little tiny goldfish. Wow. They feel very soft and almost like bubbles on your feet. It's an interesting experience. There's so many fish here. Oh, I think I might like these guys the best. There are a good amount of scratching and there's a lot of them acting. Good feeling, I like these ones. Number four, they might win today. And now we're at the last fish. Something like this. There's still some biters that say, don't stay here for over five minutes because of sharp teeth. But they're pretty tame. Wow, you had a lot of fish bite your feet today. Yep, and it feels really good. Okay, these guys win it. Oh yeah. Fish number six. Yep, there are another one of these big guys. Except these ones are hungry on this side. So, it's got that nice scratching feeling. I think my nerves have kind of taken a toll, so it doesn't feel that painful anymore. It just feels very pleasant. <sighs> Thanks, fish. Wow, they are busy working. Yeah, it makes me kind of hungry. Not for fish, right? Uh, okay. Not for these fish. They did hard work. This is a weird stuff of Taiwan, huh? We're on a night riding. Oh. Look, see? There's a big cross there. And Riam, you think it's a hospital? Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be a church. But if we take a look over here, it says Merry Christmas everywhere. <laughs> Why does it say Merry Christmas? Oh, and there's like a Jesus thing. So I think I'm right. Well, it's July, right Riam? Yeah. I think it's cold. Oh yeah, I think it is cold. Whoa, looks like they're closing on Christmas Day in July. How weird. Is that weird? Yeah. I agree. Bye-bye, Christmas, Jesus, in July. All right, look at this place, Ria. Check it out. What does it say? For better life. And look at all that garbage there. That's like apocalyptic style, huh? <laughs> it looks like all abandoned. 
Oh yeah? What is it? That's right. How creepy. Alright, you wanna record Baba driving? Oh look out! Yeah. You having a very good time? Yeah. Ah, Baba. Whoa, look out! Look. <laughs> Whoa, look out! There's a bike there. Where are we going? 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 Where on the bump! <laughs> well, through the gas station. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. And look out, there's one over there. Check it out. And okay, we made it. Oh, the big one! Whoa, there it is! Cockroach. Are you scared? No, I am good. <laughs> you are good? <laughs> Cockroach is the man is going to fall. It is, you're right. Yeah. What is it, Riam? It's coming! It's a high speed bullet train. <laughs> what did you find? Oh. Wow, there's a fish here. We're in Taipei now. And we're gonna eat some street food. So I finally found some good peppers. You have to go to the street. It's hot. I'm <laughs> gonna take this whole big bite. Let's do it. <sighs> yeah. Got a nice punch to him. You want to swing? Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Go. <laughs> Oof. Look at this place. Wow. It's an outdoor kind of a playground, water playground. How's the water feel? Okay. Looks so tired. What did you do? You did a lot of swimming. You wanna bow bow? Oh. Good night. See you in the night market. Start of the night market food. Got some pita. That's kind of weird. But look at this. There's three tea places right next to each other. How many people love their tea? All right, we have two of the three teas here. And this one, yeah, it looks like it's for kids. Not so much, it's really bitter, like a barley tea. So much for Looney Tunes. At least not kids from the US would like this. This one over here, is supposed to be from uh, homemade soybeans. It's a soy milk tea. Pretty tasty actually. So yeah, we 
if you like tea, this is definitely a place to be. So aside from night markets and crazy driving, Taiwan is known for two major convenience stores. That one, Family Mart, and that one, 7-Eleven. How weird, huh? This is a small urban playground. Check it out. Wow. People are here at like the middle of the night. Cool, huh? <laughs> we are at the Madison Taipei. Ooh, yeah. fancy. Yeah. Let me do work. We're back in the hotel room of the Madison. Yeah, it's time to dig in all the night market food. So, that fried chicken place got a drink. We have uh, that soy milk tea. It's called a what? Lao Lai Okay, nice. This is some Thai chicken and curry. Hmm, let's try that out. There's some shrimp chips that Riam likes with some, I guess, chicken fried chicken. Pork tested. Whoa, what's that? Pork and tested soup. Shi shen tang. Shi shen tang. Wow, is it good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so cool. What the heck? Mmm, <laughs> hot chill. Is it good? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got some rice over here. Ria likes this one. Yeah. And oh yeah, uh, right. I got some onion rings. Take a look in there. They're okay. I prefer US onion rings. What's that, Ria? The winners of the food we had a chicken matchup between fried chicken master and this Thai chicken and hands down the Thai chicken wins great flavor even when it's that not that fresh like hot off the grill amazing crunch it just can't can't compare I mean even the drink that they gave is a uh, lemonade plum juice got a little bit of tang to it but it just doesn't have that freshness feel compared to a Thai tea so not coming back to fried chicken masters they should go back to apprentice school even the onion rings are mediocre and the other winner is the intestine soup yummy if you're into that she want ma she want that's a good herbal flavor Ah! <laughs>